Hello, class. Hello. Hi, sorry I was late. How are you, Ronald? I'm good. Uh, I am actually in my sister's uh, balcony because it's the only it's the only place where there is cold. So uh, I'm here. I don't I don't bear any more these this weather. It's been hot the whole day. Yes, it's been very hot today. And you know, people say that it's going to be it's going to be worse in the next years, but people say that there will be a lack of, of water too, and I don't think they are right. They are just trying to educate people to do not contaminate and to stop the pollution. No, but you know, I heard that that is true. That's going to be even hotter. Yeah, like for three years, I think, because of El Nino. Some people don't believe in that, right? Like my my grandfather, he says that people who believe that are stupid. <laughs> but because my I realize about that about El Nino because my girlfriend told me that. But mm -hmm. and so I decided to to laugh at my grandfather's comment because it's okay if you believe it or not. In my case I just realized some weeks ago. But I could I could believe that's true. I mean one thing I would ask your your grandfather is how do you know it's not true? Because I, you know, I mean, unless on, you may I don't I I believe in facts, hechos, and um, scientists and that study that study weather they they did predict that they actually did predict this. They, you know, it's like when it's like how can people predict the rain? The meteorologist, so. There must be some some kind of truth to that. I think. Yes, but I think he got like this negative position because he he used to watch uh, the the news every single day, and there was this this big guy here, the Moise Urbina, who never 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 predict <laughs> <laughs> the weather. So that. Perhaps that's why. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I heard that Moses Urbina, he is really not a meteorologist. He just No, he he's he, not. He's not. Yeah, he just got information maybe from CNN and he just started following the <laughs> He started following the But what it's funny that they present him like he's the Yes, the better guy to to announce the weather, and he doesn't know anything about it. Yeah, it's true. You know, one thing I don't understand that I think is very stupid, actually, that um, that uh, I don't understand that why. If El Salvador, hold on, please give me one second. Hello, guys, I have a question. You terminaron <laughs> el exercise three. Point four. The the platform is. Okay. Es que no entiendo. Yo creo que el lunes o el martes 
es de unas oraciones y he estado tratando de hacerlo, pero no lo entiendo. Buenas noches, no sé. Venia, ¿verdad? ¿Qué, de cuál, sí. ¿Cuál es? ¿Qué número es? El 3.4, el no, no lo he checked de Ajá. unas oraciones, pero no lo entiendo. Voy, voy a revisar el 3.4 porque hay algunos que me ha costado que ahí los tengo y no los he Como terminado. mañana quieren que... Ajá, y como para mañana ya tiene que estar finalizado. Ya, o sea, yo ya, ya, lo, ya lo completé, yo era de... Había un video antes de ese, el, en el 3.3, que era Ajá. de unos tiempos y en algunas es como... Ajá. Will be affected, en otras como are being y el, y el verbo, y en otras es have been, será. Have been, yeah, been. Es con will be, have been y are being. Así como en el, si puedes ver el video, el del 3.3, mejor porque ahí están los ejemplos. Y así, así lo completé con los ejemplos de ahí. Ok, oh, gracias, Ronald. Que solo ese sí. me hace falta el 3.3, pero no lo entendí. Yo creo Ajá, que ahí lo no tengo completo. <ríe> Gracias. Okay, thank you. Can you hear me, class? Yes. 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 Yes, teacher. yes teacher. All right, cool. Yeah, so I'm very I'm very worried about this because uh, Ronald, oh yeah, so what I was telling you, Ronald, you know what is I think is really dumb from all the governments in El Salvador, all the governments, this government and the past governments. El Salvador is full of volcanoes, correct? Is what? I'm sorry. El Salvador has many volcanoes. It's full of volcanoes. Ah, yes. Y no hay esa materia acá de volcano. I don't know what it's called. No hay. So that's kind of strange. A country that is full of volcanoes and there's no university <laughs> studies about that. That Don't you think that's strange? But maybe they, they think that, that it is uh, career or a major. No, it's a university. Mechanical engineers, mechanical engineers and electric engineers do the same work. They study, a cal I don't know how to say that, a transferencia de calor. Y they also study a electrical uh, machines or machines. I don't know how to pronounce that. No, no, I understand, uh, but I understand, but there's more, there's more that only heating at because la, by aquí está, la ciencia se llama vulcanólogo, vulcanólogo. So, as a certain point, I'm an engineer in algo, but um, they only, they only study volcanoes. So, the purpose is to predict uh, or 
parents study the air or something like that. Yes. So it's sad because every time something is wrong with other kids. Because uh, there is no hay mucho campo de investigación en El Salvador. Uh, that... I have the teacher that is a master in robotics in, in artificial intelligence, but they just give class at the university. So uh, for the study or science, scientists, uh, there is not much work here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That is too bad because El Salvador having a lot of volcanoes, we need vulcanologos. So every time there's a problem, they have to come from Mexico, Canada, or the United States because we don't have any. That's like saying Costa Rica no tiene carrera de selva natural. ¿Cómo se llama? Los que estudian I forgot. Biologist. Biologist, yes. Thank you, Angelica. <laughs> yeah. No, so what I'm saying is that the government should have or should pay people here to go, like, to study about volcanologos. Because we have volcanoes. O, por ejemplo, si de aquí a 20 años aún no tenemos, le voy a decir a mi hijo que estudie eso. Porque así regreso y va a ser el único en el país. Trabajo seguro, man. The only... Yes. It's like heart doctors. Heart doctors. There's only like 11 in the complete country. Cardiolo cardiologists. There aren't many. Cardiólogo. Sí, pero no, pero hay una, hay una especialidad de cardiólogos que solo hay como nueve. ¿Saben okay. que? Do you know, like, how do you know? How do you know the, the certain amount? Because my brother, what my I have two brothers that are doctors and they work in el seguro. And sometimes I ask, one time I had a problem with my, I was very stressed and I couldn't lift my arm. Like, my arm was sleep. I was very close to a heart attack. Because I was 20, and I was partying every day. Every night I partied, and I went to work, and I continued partying at night, and I went to work, like, for three months. <laughs> every night. So, I was 20, but oh, if I do that, I die. But I started like my hair, in my everything. So I went to El Seguro and there was a Los que ven nervios, neurologo. Wow, they gave me my appointment for four months. So one time I asked my brothers, why do they do that in El Seguro? Porque cuatro meses de espera, he says. Because depends on the speciality. Por ejemplo, ese neurólogo debe trabajar para el seguro, pero para todos, porque no hay muchos. Entonces, el lunes él tiene aquí, quizás el martes allá, el otro martes en San Miguel. So de lo turnan. Entonces, para cuando le toque volver a, a tu seguro, <laughs> se puede tardar cuatro meses. That's why. And what, what about your brothers? Are they general doctors or do they have a speciality? Yeah, my bro I have one brother. He's a gynecologist. And the other one, the other one, he is a pediatrician, but now he is a epidemiologist. He studies epidemias. But, but just for kids or for... No, in general. Anyone. In general. Ah, okay. And and what what was the first one? I'm sorry. Uh, the, no, the first one. The other one is a gynecologist. Ah, okay, okay. And you were never interested in in studying the the same the same thing. I I was, but um, I was interested in studying that. 
and I started I started uh, I started studying psychology. But then, um, but then, like I told you, I was very stupid when I was a little, when I was young. And and do you think that the psych psychologist is a profitable uh, job? Now it is. Now it is. Well, now so it is. Now it is starting to be because if you notice, well. You in the call center, there's a psychologist in your call center, right? In human resources. Now, I think every company has a psychologist part. 15, 20 years ago, uh, uh, you couldn't. I was saying that because I don't think people would care about their, their mental health. They just, they just, I'm not sure they just get drunk and they fix it mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> and it's cheaper, I would say, because as far as I know, pills are may be expensive. Yes, it's true. It's true. Excuse me one second, please. I, I will be back. Hold on. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you know, when I was young, I really did. The problem is that when I was young, I was a rebel, so I never listened to my mother. Or, well, yeah, actually, I think my mother and my father, they didn't care. I remember, I don't know you, Ronald, but 
if you don't go to sleep tonight to your house, do you call your mom and dad and say, look, mom, I'm not going to go to sleep tonight? Mm, she already knows we have, she already knows because we have a good communication since it was no, a of child. Course. But you do it because, I don't know, but you always do it anyway, right? You I mean, have... I don't ask for permission, mm -hmm. but I told, I tell her, hey, I'm, hey, I'm here. Yeah, okay, good. In my case, no. If I disappear for four days, I never called my parents and they never asked me. <laughs> so I'm not saying it's their fault, but maybe if they were a little bit more strict with me, maybe I would have been a little bit more uh, intelligent when I was younger. So, but it's okay. I will not do that with my son. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to have good communication with my son. Okay, so class, remember yesterday what we were doing? Yes. What were we studying yesterday? Tag questions, correct? Uh, yes, teacher. And what is a tag question? Give me the grammar explanation. Somebody. Um, I'm not sure if what the grammar explanation is that it is it is built for a question and an affirmation. Yes, it's an affirmation and a short question. Short question. Remember that because the short question is do you are you? Are you married? That's a short question. Yes. Are you going to marry your girlfriend next year? That's not a short question. That's a long question, correct? So short question is just, do you, are you? Okay. So, and when do we use a tag question? Do you remember? Sorry, teacher, where is the question? When do we use a tag question? When, I don't know if he, he's right, but I think that when I have a 90% mm, make the right. Okay. When I affirmation. Okay. So let's I remember make... mm -hmm. when you assume something and you're trying to confirm it. Exactly. So actually, actually, it's when you're not sure completely. Okay. I understood the other way around, teacher. When you are sure, but not that sure. So you want to confirm that, that information. Yeah, so you're not completely sure. Remember, you're not complete you're not completely sure if it's true or if it's not. So when you ask a tag question, it's because you're not sure if it's affirmative or negative. And like I think Ronald was saying, 
if you are completely, com if you are more positive that, that it is true, then you start with uh, affirmative and finish with a negative question. If you're not sure it's true, then you start with a negative affirmation and finish with an, with an affirmative question. Okay, L let me try this. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't like cats, do you? Okay, good. No, I don't. Now, here in this case, you are sure that I did that I don't. Yeah, but, I'm sure because it... yeah, but you weren't. Uh -huh, yeah, so you, but you were not one hundred percent sure, but you were ninety percent sure, correct? So you hate cat, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm guys. I, I'm sorry, cat lovers, but. No problem. I'm a cat lover, but it's okay. Yeah, but I hate cats. But I, but um, I will never do anything bad to a cat. Yes, that's all right. Me, <laughs> much, much people or animals. What any animals? I mean, cats or duck. Yeah, but you know, there is one cat I do like. Out of those twenty or thirty outside my house, there's this big, big, fat cat. He looks like Garfield. He's yellow. Him I like, but I can't touch him though because I'm allergic. Let me open the. Da, 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 dun, dun. Okay, I got I got the idea now, teacher. The oh. about the related to the how to ask this question when you are not one hundred percent sure. About, if it is, for example, yeah. I can ask uh, Angela. Angela, you are Catholic, aren't you? Mm-hmm. So, because her name gives me an idea exactly about her, her right. religion. Okay. Exactly. And so, yes, a tag question is if you're not sure if it is or it isn't. How, how do you say uh, desfile? It is parade. Excuse me? Uh, I would like I to think know so. It's parade. Parade, it's it's this feeling. It's just a simple question. It's not it's not related to a topic. So what what is your question? That what? How could I say this feeling? <laughs> this feeling. Parade. Okay. Okay. I will say, an unpopular opinion. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, okay. Well, I am a feminist guy. Is that is that is that okay? Feminist guy? Como it, feminista. Okay. I you 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 are a feminist? Feminist guy, yes. What is I a love, fe I mean like people who support women. Okay. The feminism. So I love women. I love girls. I love. I think <laughs> you, you cannot be a feminist because you I are can, not part I, of the. I cannot. Okay. You are a supporter. I'm sorry. You are a supporter. You are a supporter okay. of feminism. Okay, so I am supporter of feminism, and I think you know that there is like these events yearly that women go on a parade yes uh, in El Salvador del Mundo and all of that to to support themselves mm -hmm. but I think my popular opinion is that I don't like those events even though I support feminism I think they don't need to do that because they are too important to do that I don't see like uh, men doing those events because they already know they are important. So I don't like those parades. And you like those parades, don't you? Do you like those parades, don't you? No. No, no, it would be. The first one I... is correct. Okay, you like, you those, like parades. those parades, don't you? Good. Uh, no, I don't. I think I think those women are, are stupid. Because. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's offensive. Sorry. 
No, 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 no because no, no, wait, don't get me wrong, because I, I do, I support that. I believe in equality. And um, I, I do believe that women have every right that a man has. That I do believe. But those women, extreme feminists, they are stupid. Have you seen them in Mexico, what they do? They, those women hate men. And if they see a man, oh my God, a man, kill him, kill him, kill him. Come on. <laughs> It's a child. Yeah, I saw I saw some videos from three or two years ago that they were painting childs and men. Yes. And whatever. You, you know, I was watching a video that I think in Mexico is the biggest movement. That um, they were f f feminists, but you see, that's the that's the thing. It's like. I think Bert would understand there's a difference between being a Muslim and a Taliban. Yes. And a Taliban is an extremist, stupid, while maybe a Muslim is somebody intelligent. So, like, uh, that's how feminism is. Feminism is okay, women that believe in women's right, okay, good. But now there are the extreme that they hate there men. There are some groups that are extreme. Yes. I was watching a video in Mexico that <laughs> they were protesting, painting, breaking all the car windows, whatever. And this poor man, he was maybe 60 or 65, coming from the supermarket and accidentally, or no sabia, and he passed by the manifestation. And the women said, a man, a man, because he was a man. But some of the astronauts doesn't know the history of the feminism. Yeah, that's true. If I will it's be honest valid, with, valid. when when I saw I that did. video, when I saw that video and I said, oh my God, if I am passing by Salvador del Mundo and a woman hits me because I am a man, oh man, don't ni lo dudes, I will knock her out. <laughs> I will fight back. Because I would play the victim. You're going to jail if you do that. No, because that would and be you pay a fine. No, because that would be self-defense. They attack me. It's self-defense. Either way, you, you, according to the new law, you're going to jail because you no, push no, but you know, I, I, no, I asked that because according to the law, getting equal that right. So, so if they attack, there's me, no such a thing like that because. Yeah. I understand your point, but unfortunately, uh, there's no what a law prescribed. I mean, the, the I understand that, something. but if you hit a girl, a female, you're going to jail. No, but if I or have a even if, if you if you curse a, a woman, yes, that's you're true. going to jail. That's they true. Fine. But if I have a woman who's attacking me, how do I and I try to stop her, and she doesn't stop? There comes a point that the law is self-defense. It's like, hey, stop, stop, and they don't stop. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, also, there, I, don't, I don't know how to say, it's a myth that only for mothers, they give, uh, the fathers just give support to the mothers when they got separated. Yeah. You know what, I think... But I, I... But I, have a, I, have a, I have a cousin that has a la patria potestad de los hijos. He does. Any he does. Yeah. Even in the United States and also here because he had two wives. Oh man. That's interesting. No, but you There's know I'm here in, in El Salvador and then this year, uh, he, he also won in the United States. Oh. But Ronald, do you know what the problem is with this? What, what do you think? Religion. Look at any religion in the world. Any religion. There's no woman leader. Like in Catholic. The man, he can always upgrade, 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 but a woman is limited. I think a woman, the most she can be is a nun. 
Monk High, I think. But, but the man I, can I, be a priest, a monsignor, uh, I don't know, tantas cosas que se ponen, monsignor, uh, peregrino, I don't know, all that. The, the man always, in every religion. I, I get that, but I think that before uh, Jesus Christ was born, there were other leaders who set those rules. Yeah. So I don't think it's Jesus Christ's uh, no, responsibility. But I'm, no, I, I'm not saying it's only Christianism. I think it's every religion. No, I mean, yeah, be, right. before mm -hmm. Jesus Muslim Christ. Go ahead, go ahead. I think the Muslim... Uh, I don't know if you already know that Muslim Christianity and Judaism come from the from the same root. Yeah, they the same. They, they the same religion, the same belief, the same. Uh, uh, I don't know how to say uh, misogynia. Yeah, the same misogynia. And they come from religion. a virgin, and then they do this. The same story is the same yeah. story. The yeah, way. that's right. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's, it's so right. I I believe, but I I want to point this. But it's okay. The religion has something to do with this but what about here in the east i mean in the west el oeste or occident how do we call it in that part? what about the female that's posed na almost naked here in the west is the opposite to the muslim religion that they have to cover their body and now here in the West, it's the opposite. I don't know if that feminist is what it's persiguiendo, I mean, to that kind of freedom. I, I don't know if you feel comfortable. This is the question for the female. If you sell your body, I mean, in the meaning that you display your body to expose your body and opposite with the Muslim religion that they cover the body. Mm -hmm. So, what is your point? So, I mean, in my, what I see is that is that both are extreme. Yeah, extremismo. I don't know if you get my idea. Yeah, they are the uh, extremist. No, no, I, I, I definitely, I get your idea. I do, but um, I. I'm happy that in fact I would I think a woman should be president because a woman is a mother and mothers are mothers are mothers man <laughs> maybe they have a different a different mind but someday let, let me ask you something I got this this is a true story I met this girl she was my peer and she was kind she was a nice girl but she told me that she defines herself as non-binary mm -hmm. because she felt harassment in her previous job at teleperformance. And she felt harassment by her peers, male and women. And <clears throat> she doesn't support the idea that uh, like how men uh, treated her and how women didn't support her. So she got upset with both and she now defines herself as non-binary. Would you agree with that? No. If your son would say the same. No, because then then every woman in the world would be a non-binary. That happens to every woman, the majority. I think maybe it was an, an excuse she needed because she's confused. And it's okay. She's confused. It's okay. But um, maybe that's an excuse she was looking for. But she's not the only one that happens to, you know. But it's funny because when you talk to her, she she says that she is like Aye and all of that. Yeah. She, she couldn't do the same in speaking in English. As far as I know, there's no like non-binary language. Or is it? Uh, yeah, it's they. They. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's in plural. So in the United States, if you don't identify as a man or as a woman, then you're not a he, you're not a she, you are a they. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> it, it is.
but it's even stupider that people are actually doing it. Like some universities are implanting that that law. And and this worse. It's worse because if I go and there are many, many states that are doing that. Do you know that if I go like to a university and I tell the teacher, today I want to be they. She ha they have to call me they. But the next day, today I feel she. So you have to call me she. Today I am it. It's ridiculous. In Walmart, United States, there is a, bueno, hoy todas las tiendas tienen un pride, pride, the gay pride, right? It's, it's okay, it's good. But do you know that this woman, she was looking for shorts for her son. Her son is six. Casonetia para ir a la playa, yeah? And she saw the short, and the short trae algo especial para que el niño se pudiera meter su miembro. Can you imagine that? Por si el niño no sentía que era niño niño. Oh my God, that's so crazy. <laughs> Pero like, like I told you. It's, yes. Yeah, it's something that is happening. You cannot believe it. Actually, it, it's it, happening now. So you, you, you wouldn't imagine this would happen in the past, I mean, 10 or 20 years ago. Yeah. So I'm happy we are in El Salvador at this moment. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's going to be crazy in the future. That that's I don't think that's a good idea. And it's, I'm not homophobic. No, that's a totally different. But I don't think that's a good idea. Imagine, vaya hito, te vas a poner eso y, y, y aquí te metes eso para que no se te note si tenés o no. Come on, man. It's crazy. Okay, class, do you see my screen? Oh, so, tag question. People in the United States are crazy, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Another tag question. Bukele is Ghana, isn't he? Or, yeah, Bukele is Ghana, isn't he? I think so. I mean, that? legally. <laughs> yeah, he, he hasn't quit yet uh, in oh. Ghana. Oh, okay, good. Because he's not as he is, obviously. But I remember that under the president. So that's a tag question. Hey, Bukele, Bukele, guess, he's Ghana, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he is. All right. So ask me a quick question about a he or she, not about you anymore. So, for example, Claudia Giron. And um, listen to this. Bruno Mars is part Filipino, isn't he? No, he isn't. He isn't? Oh, I thought he was. No, part Filipino. Yes, he is. Yeah. I'm not saying he, he is Filipino, but I think he has some family or something Filipino. All right, good. Your turn, Claudia. Ask somebody in the okay. class. Okay. To Angela, mm. Moises Urbina is a reporter, isn't he? Good. Yes, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Very good. Thank you. Okay, mm. Angela, you ask somebody. Uh... Um, Denia, Denia, I think that's the companion. Yes. Denia Sahori. Denia Sahori. Um, Bon Jovi is a pink. Is she a? I don't know. <laughs> No sé cómo va la pregunta. Excuse me. John, John Bon Jovi is a singer. Is a singer. He's, isn't he? Isn't he? Good. Good. 
Yes, yes. Good. Do you like Bon Jovi? Yes, I like. Yeah, I like, I like Bon Jovi. <laughs> yes. Bon Jovi is like my nine in Spanish. Yes, I like. Por mucho que queramos decir, pero a todos nos gusta. Yes. Hey, don't be offensive. I like Bon Jovi, but I don't like Mana. No, no. <laughs> it's no, my... No, they compare them because, like, Mana, they think they are rockers, right? And they're not. <laughs> and Bon Jovi, too, siempre lo tenían como heavy metal y todo. He's not. He's balada. Yeah, you're right. He's not bad. But I love Bon Jovi, man. He... Me too, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> I, all right, Denia, your turn. Okay. Um, Dennis? Yep. Okay. It's not personal, Ronald, but... Uh, um, Ronald loves the Barcelona club. He... He, ahí se me fue la idea. He, la última frase que tenemos que decir. Por It's hoy. a short question. So you said Ronald loves Barcelona. That's your confirmation, right? Yeah. So finish, and that's an affirmative. So you have to finish with a negative question. Don't, don't he, right? Doesn't he? Doesn't he, sorry. Okay, no worries. Repeat, please. Uh, Ronald loves Barcelona, don't he? Does he? Doesn't he? Doesn't he? Yes, I love them because they are funny. But the question was for Dennis. Correct, Daniel? The question is for Dennis. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So then, I'm sorry, I'm he gave, sorry. He gave me the answer because I didn't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> so what is the answer? So, yes, he does. Okay, good. But I think he doesn't. He's Remember, he's a Madrid fan. Ah, okay. Yeah, it was sarcasm, right? Yeah, it was sarcasm, <laughs> yes. But remember, he's a little kid. He doesn't know what he's saying. <laughs> So someday he will mature and he will understand. <laughs> I'm joking, Ronald. Okay, Dennis, your turn. Good question, Daniel. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, Jonathan, is the Pope Francisco a good person? Isn't he? Those are two questions. Oh, sorry. The Pope Francisco is a good person, isn't he? Oui. He is. Mm, no sé si le falta algo la respuesta. What is your answer? Yes or no? Yes, he is. Okay, very good. All right, good. Your turn. Mm. Denia. Hi. Wait, I'm sorry. Except Denia, because Denia already participated. Ask Allison or Angelica or Bert. <clears throat> Alison creo que escribió que iba conduciendo Oh yes Pero Alison, are you home now? Okay, uh, me... No, I'm not I'm still driving Okay, she's still driving Alison, the traffic was crazy today in San Salvador huh? En El Salvador yes. It's like, no man The government yeah, I... needs to do something I had oh. to cross San Salvador from, I don't know how to say, punta a punta. From one end to the other. You know, I have to pass in front of El Magico Gonzalez every day 
en por esos stupid Pan American Games que van a ver, they close the street. It's, oh, man. It's like, la cosa estuve ahí dos años y de dos semanas para acá, hoy quieren hacer todo a última hora. It's like, crazy. Normally, yeah. uh, seven is uh, a little bit more uh, fluent in the in the service, but it was eight, eight, half past eight, and still it was traffic. Where yeah. traffic, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, sorry. Jonathan, ask Allison then. Okay. Alison, Angela, Angela Jesus is a nice person. Yes, yeah, is... Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, can you, can you repeat again? Angela is a nice person, isn't she? Yes, she is. Yes, she's a sweet person. I imagine, I imagine she's a sweet person. Good. Allison, ask Angelica or Bert. Um, okay. Alfred. Um, Alfred. 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 San Miguel is hot, isn't it? No, it's not hot. It's hell. <laughs> yes, it's hot. <laughs> but now it's hell. <laughs> it's really hot. Really hot. I mean, yeah. I'm sweating right now. Leí un meme de una amiga que tenía San Miguel que puso Si vivo en San Miguel y me voy al infierno, me descuentan estos días por el calor. De... <laughs> o algo así, because it's so hot. Like, si voy al infierno, son días descontados. Because it's hot. All right, and um, Bert, please ask Angelica. Okay. Uh, ah, I had a question. Angelica, uh... Well, Hello. sorry, sorry, Ronald. Sorry, Ronald. <laughs> uh, Ronald is a feminist guy, isn't he? No, he's a supporter. Good. Good. No, he's not a feminist. He supports feminism. Yeah, okay. that's... <laughs> no, repeat. He... He is not a feminism, he is a supporter. Very good. All right, ask me. Um, you work, don't you? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right, good. Hey, so easy, right? Tag questions and I really recommend you to practice this because we always say tag questions, even in Spanish. Every day we say a tag question. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. So let me see. It is okay to say you have had you have had breakfast, haven't you? Mm -hmm. It is okay. Yes. Okay. So I imagine I I imagine Sim, uh, uh, familiar tag questions that you hear in a call center is, hey, you already took your break, didn't you? Hey, you already took your lunch, didn't you? Yes. So why are you talking? No. If you have a bad boss, that's what he'll say. Let's listen to this um, listening exercise. What is the report about? Check the correct answer.
Sports and weather are coming up. But first, here's Health Watch with our medical specialist, Dr. Linda Byrne. Dr. Byrne, there's no question that technological advances in the last decade or two have made our lives easier. But all this technology has its downsides as well, doesn't it? That's right, Peter. Especially for those suffering from syndromes caused by the stress of our high-tech lifestyles. And this is a relatively recent development, isn't it? Definitely. Such syndromes were nearly unheard of in 1980, before the growth of the Internet and the high-tech industry. Since 1990, however, nearly 300 cases of technology-related stress syndrome were identified. There was a slight drop-off after 1990, but soon the number of cases jumped to three times 1990's rate, which is where it stands today. Could you give us some examples? Well, one of these syndromes is eye strain, in which the eyes become red, watery, and itchy. Eye strain is caused by long hours in front of the computer and compounded by long nights playing video games or watching TV without getting much sleep. One treatment that's recommended is to get away for several days and just look at some beautiful natural scenery with no computers. The second is the well-known carpal tunnel syndrome, a very painful condition of the hands and arms caused by the overuse of keyboards and mice. A trained physical therapist can help with a regimen of stretching and strengthening exercises that have brought good results in many cases. So the syndromes are usually physical? There can also be psychological problems. Take, for instance, a third syndrome we informally call gadget addiction. It applies to people who use electronics all day long, nonstop. These people have a deep sense of loneliness whenever they hang up their cell phone or log off the internet. One suggested treatment is to learn to disconnect from the wired world. Leave technology behind for a few hours. Take up a creative hobby, or go for a bike ride with friends. Just be sure to leave all the gadgets alone. Thanks, Dr. Byrne. And for more information, go to our website and click on our Health Watch link, and then turn off the computer. So number one, what is this about? Me? Yes, it's health problems caused by technology. Yes. Do you know the carpal syndrome? The carpal syndrome. It is syndrome. about the, the nerve? Yes, it's on the hands. It's like people that use a lot of the keyboards. Da, 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 da. My mom suffered it. Oh, yeah? She What's... had like, like a surgery. She is a secretary. Yes, I was going to ask you that. Was or is your mom a secretary? So I imagine she must have used a lot of um, keyboards. When I used to work as an interpreter... I listen to many cases of doctors and they are scared because now children are starting to have carpal syndrome. It's, you know, because of the PlayStation or Nintendo Switch. That imagine children and carpal syndrome is something that you get when you are old, older. Okay, let's listen to conversation number two. Sports and weather are coming up, but first, here's Health Watch with our medical specialist, Dr. Linda Byrne. Dr. Byrne, there's no question that technological advances in the last decade or two have made our lives easier, but all this technology has its downsides as well, doesn't it? That's right, Peter, especially for those suffering from syndromes caused by the stress of our high-tech lifestyles. And this is a relatively recent development, isn't it? Definitely. Such syndromes were nearly unheard of in 1980, before the growth of the Internet and the high-tech industry. Since 1990, however, nearly 300 cases of technology-related stress syndrome were identified. There was a slight drop-off after 1990, 
but soon the number of cases jumped to three times 1990s rate, which is where it stands today. Could you give us some examples? Well, one of these syndromes is eye strain, in which the eyes become red, watery, and itchy. Eye strain is caused by long hours in front of the computer and compounded by long nights playing video games or watching TV without getting much sleep. One treatment that's recommended is to get away for several days and just look at some beautiful natural scenery with no computers. The second is the well-known carpal tunnel syndrome, a very painful condition of the hands and arms caused by the overuse of keyboards and mice. A trained physical therapist can help with a regimen of stretching and strengthening exercises that have brought good results in many cases. So the syndromes are usually physical? There can also be psychological problems. Take, for instance, a third syndrome we informally call gadget addiction. It applies to people who use electronics all day long, nonstop. These people have a deep sense of loneliness whenever they hang up their cell phone or log off the internet. One suggested treatment is to learn to disconnect from the wired world. Leave technology behind for a few hours. Take up a creative hobby or go for a bike ride with friends. Just be sure to leave all the gadgets alone. Thanks, Dr. Byrne. And for more information, go to our website and click on our Health Watch link. And then turn off the computer. All right, so what is problem number one? Uh, eye strain. Eye strain, good. Problem number two? Carpal tunnel syndrome. And number three is the gadget addiction. Gadget addiction. Let's listen to this one. Listen again and now choose the right symptoms for each problem. So what is the symptom for eye strain? Do you remember? Eyes become red, watery, and itchy. Watery and itchy. What is the symptom for carpal tunnel syndrome? What is carpal tunnel syndrome? Pain in the hands and arms. Pain, What's it? Mm -hmm. Pain in the hands and arms. Yes. What symptoms for gadget addiction? I'm sorry. Symptoms for gadget addictions? Using uh, Using gadgets. All, all day long. All day long. long. Mm -hmm. long. All night long. All night. Mm. All night long. That's an old song. <laughs> Remember that song? Um. Yes, sir. I think it's Lionel Richie. All right, so do you guys have plans for the weekend? No, yet. Uh, I, I, I do have a plan. I, I mean, I'm still working in a personal project. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can continue to working on it. I mean, this is kind of that. I mean, I have, it takes a long time because I will, I've been. Uh, modeling and being uh, changing because as you know that technology is been changing so fast so I had to be upgrading this project because I wanted to be up to date so that's what I wanted to and do I have a question when, when you finish that project are you going to sell it yeah that's the idea because I, I don't know if I wonder if somebody of you know knows or high horror about the term no code this is a new expression no code off the shelf i mean no code means that you can't any anybody can uh, build or program or create an application it's not necessary to know any kind of programming language 
that's no call. I mean, it means you don't call you, you don't use any uh, language or programming. So uh, I think you haven't heard that. <laughs> but no, I, 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 I have, I have, and now I understand, but I've used, I've heard no code, but I never understood what it was. Yeah, the idea is that, for example, Angela, she wants to build her website, but she doesn't know anything about programming a website because just designing, she just drag and drop the component component or her website. And that's, that's it. She doesn't need to know any language or programming language. That is no code. And I've been thinking about this idea since 2017, I mean, five years ago. It didn't exist already, but I had the idea. <laughs> That's, I mean, believe it or not, but, but that, I didn't and know now that you're was like, gonna happen. Oh man, oh man. Mm. Yeah, it, it's awesome because I had the, I mean, the schema, how to build an application. So that that's, I've been making some changes because the, the development had been evolved. Yes. Into, three or two years is different. So I think uh, Alison, perhaps she knows something a little bit about this. Don't you? Hey, good that question. Oh, she's not there. Okay. Yeah, so that is really awesome. I mean, I love programming and uh, I also love electronic and device. I mean, but that's what I'm going to do on, on the weekend. Do you like photography? Yeah, I kind of like it, but I want to fo focus. <laughs> I want to focus on the <clears throat> designing and the photography, of course. Yeah, you you should you should but... also you should also study um editing because if you like Sorry, technology, I, I miss that. You should become an editor. Ah, that's right. That's that's a really, really good business, freelance business in the world. There are so many, for example, YouTubers. There are many companies that they don't, they just prefer to pay somebody. Hey, do I want material? Edit it. And then you start doing your thing. That's a really, really good business. So I guess for extra money, you should do that. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do it because that design uh, is also interesting on that bit, but it's really hard to to ch to move from the developer to logical <laughs> to design. I mean, to use color to to match uh, all this it is way different. For a developer, it's really hard. I don't know if Alison is listening, but she will say she will agree with me because. Not all developer has a good designer skill because this is a different world. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay, class, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you have a lot of rain in your house or where you live because it's hot. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, then thank you very much. Thank I'll, you. I'll see okay. you Monday. Thank you. Okay, thank see you. you. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. See you Monday.